What is up guys, welcome back to Bottled in Bond. I'm Ozzy. <laughs> today, today uh, I want to review a bottle that um, would have never thought to review unless I was in the area because personally I've never I've never really seen it until I was in the area. Back in uh back in January and then in February, I happened to find myself in Pooler, Georgia, near Savannah. Pretty much you can call that whole area Savannah, except it's not necessarily Savannah, Georgia. You're on the west side of I-95. You got Rinkin, Pooler, Guyton, that kind of stuff. So I was down there visiting, just getting to know the area of my family, uh, looking around, see what kind of whiskey they, they have. They have some some pretty decent whiskey down there that you can't find up here or is allocated up here. Now, the prices may range. You might find some liquor stores to have them for decent prices. And then some liquor stores with all their right, they jacked up the prices. It's neither here nor there. If you love the spirit and you have the cash, go for it, you know. So, but you can find some pretty good stuff in Savannah, Georgia. Just throwing that out there if you're in the area. Nonetheless, I uh, grew curious and uh, out of a joke, it was out of a joke, I picked up a, a bottle from there and I told myself, if I like this bottle, we're moving to Savannah, Georgia. And if I don't, I guess I'm gonna have to pass. Bam! So this is Savannah a single barrel i'm gonna see if i can find a picture put it right here so that you can see what the bottle looks like up close so this is savannah savannah so this is a single barrel aged for five plus years five plus could be whatever it could be six years seven years it could be five years and one day i don't know all right so i don't know nothing about this i didn't do my research because it's not something that people are talking about per se uh it has a sip awards for 2022 platinum best of class platinum best of class look at this baby looks like corn whiskey i hope it's not corn whiskey anyways this is a single barrel h5 plus years founders reserve straight bourbon whiskey for anybody who's interested and in, kind of tracks these guys all right this is for 54 abv coming in at 108 proof so this is supposed to have just a little bit of a bite just a little bit barrel number four zero sorry barrel number four zero three tech 128 all right handcrafted in georgia best of the look this is the best of the low country is what they call it all right um just gonna skim through here blah 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 sweet corn okay whatever so uh so it's not much that it says it just talks about simply about what it is and, and the barrel and nothing crazy there's no story behind it i would like to know who are the distillers to be honest because i don't see a distillery here it goes produced and bottled by savannah bourbon company so it's produced and bottled by savannah bourbon company blairsville georgia so it's it's the savannah bourbon company but it's in blairsville not sure where on the map blairsville is in comparison to savannah regardless i've had this baby for about two months now and i'm curious to open it up and see what it's all about so let's open this baby up oh yeah synthetic cork I like this I like this little logo right here this little kind of looks nice if I if I ever go well, I don't think I want to say that now whatever if I ever go through this whole bottle I'm gonna try to make it a point to remove the this uh little badge little uh badge they got there <laughs> and uh keep it just as a little trinkler or something like that um maybe drill a hole through it and Hanging it on a Christmas tree for something that happened or could have happened. I don't know, man. On the nose. So I'm trying to, I was trying to avoid this. I'm not going to lie. I, I got other things that I could be reviewing. And I was trying to avoid this one just because I, I, I have no hope for it. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe I'm just, maybe that's that, maybe I shouldn't be that way. You know, maybe I should just get bottom shelf plastic bottles from now on and not think anything of it. And maybe they'll amaze me. It's happened before. Listen, on the nose, a little, a little, maybe a little honey, very slight. It almost smells watered down. A little nutty, a little nutty, a little honey. Very, very slight spice and ethanol. I mean, it's 108 proof. 
There's not much, man. I, I, I have to keep it honest. I have to keep an honest review and it could be, so it's 108 proof. So I've straight away, and I'm not saying I'm not gonna do any more reviews of bottles that are, that are uh, 80 proof, 85 proof. I'm not, I'm still gonna do it. And I'll, I'll try getting into some blind reviews, but this is 108 proof. This should be right up my alley. On, on, the, on the nose, this thing's making me stutter, man. On the nose, it's watered down, sweet, honey, nutty spice but it's very faint. So, cheers. Huh. That's different. So, hmm. I forget the price of this, and I hate that I forget the price of this, but you know what? I'm gonna put the price right there so that you guys can know the price and I'll, I'll do my research and put the price right down there you should be seeing it now um not seeing that sort of picked it up but that's msrp uh from online at least it's sweet it's easy to drink very light doesn't drink 108 tastes more like uh 92 So, oh man, this, this, this reminds me of, I've had a bottle that was like this once and it was just sweet and easy to sip and I gave it away. It sat in my, uh, it sat on my shelf for a while and I got tired of looking at it. I'll say this, this would be a good mixing bourbon. This would be a good whiskey to mix however you like mixing your whiskey, drinking your whiskey. Uh, definitely don't put any ice cubes on this as I feel regardless of the 108 proof, it already tastes like it's been watered down. Not saying saponification had anything to do with it because I don't have anything soapy to say about it. But I want to say they could have left the proof. Maybe if they make a barrel proof, if this is not barrel proof and i don't see anything on here that says that this is barrel proof a barrel that stops us in our tracks and not liar in complexity character and smoothness it is smooth i'll give them that i don't know about the about the complexity these barrels we set aside for extra aging crafted with select corn coastal rye and pristine blue ridge mountain spring water interesting we number each bottle by hand and present at a bold 108 proof Cheers to you, friend. This is our best Savannah. This is the best Savannah has to offer. Listen, listen, listen. The best that Virginia has to offer is pretty freaking delicious. The best that Savannah has to offer is a whiskey that tastes sweet, easy to drink. I would call this a beginner's bourbon. If you're trying to get into it's look they got the 2022 sip award why because it's it's easy to sip on so cheers to you savannah bourbon company cheers to you uh i think you're making a good product for beginning beginner bourbon personnel uh aficionados soon to be uh small no i'm playing I'm not gonna say that, but it's 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 good. Sip on it, sweet, easy to drink, smooth. Eh, eh, eh. Sorry, sorry. The video was longer than it should have been. Uh, this video should have probably been three minutes. I'm Ozzy, and this is the Savannah Bourbon Company. Right? Did I say it right? I did. Savannah Bourbon Company, Savannah, single barrel. Founders Reserve. Founders Reserve, man. Founders. Founders always. Anyways, from the uh, Savannah Bourbon Company um, distillery down in, in, not in Savannah, Georgia. It's in Blairsville, Georgia. And this is, this is bottled in bond. This, can we, can we cut that? Can we, can we cut that out?